I really do love these. They're just so big and detailed and just lovely. I really do love... It's quite an old and intricate looking thing. Seems like it's as old as the church. Ah, oh, look at that. A cute little dragon on top. Just like in the church window. That sheet looks pretty old. I think it's been left hanging there for quite a while. This is too far away. That sheet looks pretty old. I think it's been left hanging there for quite a while. And, well, it did get rather cold on that long trip here. I could use a sheet going home. Yes. Ah, uh, oopsie daisy. Guess I still need a little more practice with this. Welcome, young traveler. The stars be upon you. I really do love these. They're just so big and detailed and just lovely. The left one is showing an evil, dark, creepy looking figure underground amongst flames. The right window is a big red dragon flying above people celebrating. It's a big old beautiful church organ. It must play amazing music. Well, it would if you knew how to play, which I don't. It's a bunch of people looking a bit crazy. They're all fighting each other. Hmm, it looks quite calm. There's some important looking people in the middle, and everyone around them is just watching them, like they are in awe. No, it looks good where it is. Such a serious looking man, just sitting there, writing with his quill. Being serious. Hmm, I don't like this one. The girl looks so scared. She's reaching to this lady. The lady is just looking away and ignoring her. There's a little message here. It says, to keep lit the light of the red dragon and help her hold back the darkness. There, uh, your grace, sir, your holiness. Oh, dear child, no, no, please. Theodore will suffice. I'm sorry, it's my first time in a church, but it's nice to meet you, Theodore. My name's Anna. And a pleasure to meet you too, young one. Your church is very beautiful, Theodore. Oh, indeed it is, but alas, it isn't mine. I'm simply looking after it so to speak, and caring for all the people who come seeking the red dragon's protection. Oh, the dragon. I was told about a dragon that could fly people to the glass mountains. Ah, yes, that she could. However, it's now all so difficult to know. Anyone who greeted her as she sat atop the bell tower would be granted free passage throughout the land. Some say knowledge of the dragon has been lost to time. Others say that it's all but a myth. I simply stay here to carry on what she stood for and represented. That is important, with or without her. You say the dragon stood for something important? Very much so. Her very presence drove the shadows from the land. You see... Her scales were the red fire to light the way, and in turn, she protected us from the dark. But my grandpa told me there's nothing to be scared of in the dark. One time I was scared, but then grandpa laughed because it was just the tree branch scraping on my window. <laughs> yes, it is true. Often the dark is nothing but a trickster. Unfortunately, the Lord of Dark revels in such tricks. The, the Lord of Dark? Oh, yes, Mephistopheles. He's known for his many names and 
many guises. But be not afraid, for, thanks to the Red Dragon, we are all safe. Her presence forced him deep into the earth, you see, his trickery contained. Did you say the dragon would fly people from the bell tower? Where's that? I, yes, it's right through the door behind you. Alas, for many generations now, the door has been sealed shut. For years I've looked for a means to open it, but for years it has remained closed. This place was built entirely for the love of the Red Dragon. I'm sure many answers lie here somewhere before our eyes. I'm but an old man, not a detective. Any such indications have managed to elude me. Ooh, a detective mystery. That sounds kind of fun. Maybe I can have a look around for clues. <laughs> but of course. Be my guest, young one. Their windows at the back are so, so pretty. I love them. Oh, yes. They really are remarkable, aren't they? I'm constantly in awe of their beauty. They commemorate the Red Dragon's work in chasing away the Lord of Dark. Oh, wow. I would never have imagined something like that really happening. Do all these paintings around the room tell a story too, then? Indeed they do. They tell their own story about Wunderhorn's days of magic. Ooh. Could you tell it to me? By all means, I'd be glad to. Where would you like me to start? Can you tell me about the busy-looking painting over there on the left? This was in the days before magic, when darkness and chaos ruled the land. Great powers were at odds. None could maintain order. What about this rain painting? It looks rather pleasant. Ah, yes, the second painting. This was a momentous time when the first witches of Wunderhorn rose to power. By their demonstrations of benign sorcery, they contained evil and brought peace and order. Who is the man in the portrait over there? Philip Vogt, a direct descendant of the great witches and a crucial part of Wunderhorn's history. It was Philip who created the most powerful of spells. He summoned a dragon to banish the dark. It is said he built a shrine deep within a glade in Wunderhorn's woods in order to cast it there. This spell was of such power, it cost him his own life. As he summoned the red dragon, he perished to save us all. Oh, wow. What a brave, selfless man. A shrine deep in Wunderhorn's woods, huh? I wonder if I'm able to find that at all. Wait a second. I know where I've seen him before. I have a picture of him. Here, see? It looks just like him, don't you think? By the stars. I think you're right, young one. Where did you find this? Oh, it's a long story, but I found it in the witch's house. Hmm, how curious. And the girl here, it must be, it's Philip's daughter, Queen Yannicke. This girl is the queen? We don't really know much about kings and queens out on my farm. Indeed, it is her, as a child, of course. Sadly, though, about a year ago, she just vanished. No one knows how or why. Yet another somber, unsolved mystery, I'm afraid. Can you tell me about the sad-looking painting on the right? Yes, uh, a sad painting indeed. A woman banishing a child for an unforgivable sin. The woman was said to be a great witch of Wunderhorn, and the girl, her very own daughter. Little is known of it, but the painting is said to have been made by a mute child who witnessed the tragic scene. Jeez, this is too sad. Let's talk about something else. Thanks for your help, Theodore. I best get going. Of course, young one. The stars be with you. <laughs>